We are here at 6-0 Strength with former Buff and former NFL veteran Matt McChesney. Matt, we've talked to you on Buff Stampede Radio about your mission here at 6-0 Strength. Talk a little bit about it here on video about what your goal was when you started up this company and, and how that is coming along. Well, we're really trying to change the culture at the high school level, which will in turn change the culture at the college level and, in fact, the pro level in the state of Colorado. Uh, being a, an ex Colorado guy myself playing high school football here and college football here and then ending my career with Denver. I really want to institute a, a level of uh, not cockiness but confidence in these high school kids so they know that they can play at the next level. They don't just think that they can and uh, you know change the culture at the basement level and it will resonate through the next level which is the college football level in the state of Colorado. Been here for about the last three hours and it seems some different groups come through here. A lot of class of 2014 kids that are working with you. Who are some of the guys from that class you're working with that have a lot of potential that you know fans of high school and college football should be paying attention to? And I'm sure I'll miss a couple of guys here, as you always do. But if I'm going to really go down the list of 2014, I'll start with the Hogs. Now, the defensive line, or the offensive and defensive linemen, a couple of guys. Sam Jones from Thunder Ridge, who everyone knows is, is, a, is a stud and, and a beast and a guy that really wants to physically dominate people at the line of scrimmage. Reed Stable, big guard center from Mullen, who's kind of floating under the radar right now, but is a big body, very athletic for his size, and another guy that can really beat you up at the line of scrimmage. Uh, Brandon Chase, the center for Thunder Ridge, another really good prospect. Connor Kane from Heritage. He's kind of a hybrid. He can play tackle, he can play defensive end, he can play tight end. I don't know where he's going to play at the college level, but another guy that's turned some heads to say the least. Dalton Reisner from Wiggins, getting a lot of looks, a lot of love right now. So hopefully he can handle getting patted on the back because, you know, no one cares about that at the next level, but he, he's handling it well and works his butt off. And then when you're talking about the athletes in the group, uh, Brody Westmoreland, the quarterback from Thunder Ridge, projected as an athlete at the next level, a guy that can project at many different positions. Tanner Smith, the fullback from Mount Vista. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. There's a lot of guys in the class of 2014 that are really going to turn some heads that I think can make some plays at the college level. Now, Buff signee John Lasello is in the background working out here. When you found out he was going to gray shirt, were you kind of licking your chops that you had another six months to work with him? And yeah, I'm going to try and treat the next six months with Big John as if he was in Boulder. And I'm going to do my best to try and get some of the uh, terminology and play calls that he's going to have to learn when he goes in for spring ball. But really with John coming in as a 240-pound mold, you know, I want to get him to about 280, 285, but good weight, not cheeseburger any weight. We don't, we don't need any, any you know, sloppiness on him when he goes to Boulder. And the, a lot of people look at gray shirting as a negative, but in, in his case, I think we're going to try and approach it as a positive and make sure that he's ready for the grind when he gets to Boulder so there if, is no ifs, ands, or buts. He's ready to go when he walks into Boulder for spring ball. Timothy Coleman, another CU signing, was here. He didn't look like a kid that had tore up his knee just about six months before. It looks like he's recovering pretty well from that knee injury. And work ethic is one thing with Tim Coleman that I want everybody to understand. He's got great work ethic, and he's motivated uh, through a lot of the spite early in his career. Now, a lot of people didn't think he could play. Now, Tim's got an 81-inch reach, so that means he can reach. He can stand far away and touch you, and he's got a motor. And he also runs about a four, five and a half, four, six when he's healthy. So that's the combination that people look for in an NFL off or an outside linebacker, defensive lineman, three technique if he gets big enough. A lot of work ethic and heart in Tim Coleman. Now you went to CU and it sounds like when you talk about CU, you still have that black and gold running through your veins. But you've made it very clear when colleges come through here, you're not going to steer them in any particular direction. And, and there is no bias. I want what's best for my client and the kids in here, number one. You know, the, the parents invest in the business here to get their guys ready and to give them the best, uh, you know, knowledge base on how to, to use this recruiting as a tool. You know, from Oregon to CSU to CU to CSU Pueblo to, you know, the array of different schools that are in here that come in that I talk to on the phone and give recommendations to. I could care less where these kids play. I just want them to be happy and to make good decisions, and I don't want them to get abused by the recruiting system. I want them to realize that this is the only point in their life that they're ever going to hold all the balls in one court. And after this, once they sign that dotted line, they're a number. 
And once they realize that and they understand that they're in a power position right now, they can better absorb the recruiting process. So, no, I, I don't care where they go. And honestly, you know, I think it's a little ridiculous anybody that has an agenda with these high school kids. Stop living through yourself and start living for them a little bit. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.